And in reality, then that means that your self-worth, your self-worth comes from what other people think of you. And that's not cool. That is not cool. And uh, let's talk about it. <laughs> um, what's up? Sip is up. Check it out. Wow. For those listening, we are wearing our matching pajamas. Matching pajamas, matching pajamas, matching pajamas, matching pajamas, matching pajamas, matching pajamas, matching pajamas. Matching pajamas, matching pajamas, matching pajamas, matching pajamas. Let's go! Let's go! Um, yeah, so for those of you that um, can't see us, we are wearing our little white jammies with rose gold stars on them because rose gold is life. <laughs> the rose gold is her life. Yes, everything Literally. in this house is rose gold. Even, I just love it so much. I, even the forks and knives are rose gold. Well, I don't know if that's true, but... No, but I have knives that have rose gold on them and I have utensils, like cooking utensils that are rose gold and... Uh, rose gold tea kettle rose gold um uh toilet paper holder uh rose gold rose <laughs> like <laughs> a french press rose gold yeah um, your dishes dryer is rose gold yeah my, your potato masher i think is rose gold soap <laughs> dispenser is rose gold everything in this house is rose gold i got candles that have like rose gold rims on them why isn't your nose ring rose gold um, you know what? I bought rose gold nose rings, but I am like incapable of getting a nose ring into my own nose. So I, I basically, I brought to my sister's one day and was going to get her to change it. And then I forgot. Oh, so yeah, I do have one and I should put it in because my glasses are rose gold. Yeah. Rose Everything else gold. in my life is rose gold. rose gold. Yeah. Anybody who knows me knows that I love me some rose gold. Yeah. I don't know why I'm her so Cadillac scared. is rose gold. Yeah, like I I pimp out my ride in rose gold. My yeah. notebook is rose gold. Legit. Gang gang bling bling. Rose gold gang gang. Yeah, I don't know. I just really it's just like one of those things that's just really satisfying to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Grab that notebook. That notebook. This is my favorite color. It is like teal-ish, bluish, greenish. Yeah, that's like my second favorite. I like. I have a lot of favorite colors, but this one has been my favorite for longer than yeah. any color has been it my favorite. It is so nice. Yeah. And this is like the color that I have. Like my one bathroom is set up in this color. Yeah, it's like a light teal kind and of seafoam like, green. It does kind of like go good with like rose gold too. Like I find oh, like they do kind of like mesh well. So. You should get a rose gold suit and I'll get a teal suit for next time. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Um, hey, this episode, just because I just said the word suit, is brought to you by Velveteen Vintage because I met her at the night market last night at Spiro's and I bought a suit from her and it's lit and I wore it yeah. today. What fabric was that? Is like suede or like... It was like almost... Like crushed velvet? It like yeah, like it kind of reminded me of like... But, like, not as fuzzy as crushed velvet. Yeah, it was really like nice. Not as dense? Or more dense, maybe. Like, it was, like, more condensed. Yeah, but. it was sick. But I wore it all day, and I felt like a freaking boss Bouse. lady. Like, I was walking around like, who runs this motherfucker? We run this motherfucker. <laughs> who runs this motherfucker? Run anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so that was... Boss bitch. That was boss like, she's bitch lo shit. <laughs> local Lloyd Minster Velveteen Vintage. Get it. Yeah. Get it. Get some. So, yeah. How do you feel about people who treat Instagram like a job? I feel like if you think your Instagram is a job, um, then you are extremely fucking privileged to, like, if that is your you biggest know. job of the day or, like, yeah. your, your, what you revolve your days around yeah. because damn you don't know what real work is yeah <laughs> yeah like imagine doing instagram and a real job <laughs> you know like then come tell me that it's hard yeah because it ain't it I mean, really ain't if it's really that draining to you get off it if it's really that hard get off it go get a job <laughs> yeah and if that's where you get your self-worth is from other people on a social media platform fucking check yourself man mm -hmm. and like that also like it just like you know people preach all this like self-love and love yourself and but then turn around and say that instagram is like a job to them but it's like that's where you get your fulfillment from yeah 
And why are you doing it if it's so hard? Why are you doing it if it makes you you feel bad? You have to pour so much of yourself (laughs) into it. (laughs) And then that tells me that you're not doing it for yourself and that you're just trying to people please everybody else. Just do what makes you happy. Like, don't stress yourself so much about it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's a social media platform um, to be social with friends. um, Like... And all these people with their hidden agendas on there and, you know, pushing things. And it's just like, come on, man. Like, when did it just, when did it go from, you know, sharing pictures of your family and sharing pictures of, you know, things that bring you enjoyment to what it is now what it is is now and is like a fight cattiness and yeah. And uh, yeah, exactly. A fight for attention. Mm hmm. I don't know. Like, and so, um, just real quick about the, like the job thing. Like they say that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And now literally my job is social media. Partly like my job is a lot more than that, but part of my job is social media. And that's the part that I love. And that's the part that like, it's not like it's just fun and if you don't think it's fun because like when i see something i don't like on social media when i get a comment i don't like or someone's talking shit guess what swipe guess what scroll you know and you know you don't need to fucking let it run your whole emo like if you're letting posts run your and i guess that's like i've done that like there are things that trigger me obviously but if every day i was going on there being like like why would i still do it like what's the let me ask you like what is the end game what is the end game of these social media influencers you know um to be liked yeah to be included half of them don't even know why they're doing it they're just trying to like become something and they don't even have like an idea of what that might be like, okay, 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 okay. So can you imagine, okay, imagine, imagine, I'm imagining. imagine now, okay, imagine we are kids right now in this world mm-hmm. and it's like, grandma, what did you do for work when you, when you were younger? Oh, I posted on Instagram. Yeah. I was an Instagram model. I just posted pictures for my you know, 7,000, 10,000, 15,000 followers. I promoted products I've never tried before uh, because people saw that I was pretty. And uh, when I put it in my profile picture, uh, people bought it. Uh, and that, that, that. But people don't even buy half the no, shit that they, know. you know, you look at it and they're like, why would I buy that? Um, but it's like, it's like, it's like a, it's like a token that they get when someone says, here, promote my product. But do you know, like, I have, like, hardly any followers, and I get people wanting to pr- me to promote their product all the time. Dude, everybody does. Everybody our, does. So our, don't feel special. Dude. That's what they, they feel special because, our, they, like, I made it. Somebody wants me to promote their goddamn product. <laughs> I made it in the social media world. Hello. Let me take 50 million pictures with the same fucking item. We get it the first fucking time. We ain't buying your shit. But like, can you imagine? They're like, Grandma, what did you do when you were old, when you were younger? I took seventy-five pictures of me drinking tea, <laughs> and lots of people liked it. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like you know what? Like if if it, but the thing of it is, is like a lot of these people complain about how hard it is, you know. But then like, yeah, get a real job, get yeah. a real job, and then get a real job that you have to show up every morning from from a certain that like, you have to actually stay at from like eight to five, eight to six. Like I work nine and a half hours every day. Mm-hmm. 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 Preach girl. Okay. Mm, like let's go, girl. preach girl. And no. I just want to say like, if you think that, oh my God, this brand wants me to promote it in your fucking inbox. We just started our Instagram profile in April and we already have, Hey, <laughs> Hey girl, want- love your style. Do you want to <laughs> promote this? Like it's literally an automated message. You guys like, what 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 a lot of and they just suckered you into buying their product at a discounted rate half the time exactly (laughs) to promote it you get you get discounts if you sign up and become an ambassador an ambassador oh my god i'm an ambassador oh my god i get 15 
percent off these fucking for a company shitty. that's being like product that's being like produced in China or something. Like I yeah. can get behind it if you're like being an ambassador for like local a Canadian Canadian yeah. companies. Yeah, then that's freaking cool. But if you're just responding to like these DMs from foreign countries, like hey, free shipping if you buy one thing, and then you're an ambassador. Like get out of here. Nobody researches yeah. the company. Like <sighs> so. And I'm not, like, trying to rag on people. Well, I'm just trying to, like, check yourself. But Mm -hmm. I guess, like, when I said about the followers, like, how many followers you have, like, I mean, I could understand, like, how it could be, like, a full-time managing your social media platform. Mm -hmm. Um, If you had, like, hundreds of thousands and you have your own, you have a brand, Mm -hmm. your own company that you're promoting Mm -hmm. or your own product that you're promoting. But a lot of these people aren't promoting their own products, you know, or if you're hustling your own business. Mm -hmm. Um, Like a lot of these companies, they don't give a rat's ass about you. Um, These the the products Mm -hmm. that you're promoting for them. So why would like, why are you putting yourself out there? The thing that that, like, I think a lot of women just don't understand is like, you don't just get a bunch of followers on Instagram and now that's your job. Like you have to have something that you're going to do. Like, like for me, it's obviously like only fans, whatever, but like, that's my business that I promote through Mm -hmm. all my bullshit. Um, and when you're just like posting to be an aesthetic, uh, to be like, um, like, what are you doing? Like, are you going to start a podcast? Are you going to, um, you know, have a fitness page or or, or be a self or be a help. Like, uh, like there's a lot of people on Instagram I found that are literally just self help people and, uh, or a light coach yeah, or a health coach or their job is to respond to people in their DMS where they're like, I'm having this like horrible time. And like, people are like sharing like these really raw feelings. And then their job is to like, guide them but like what are you doing you just want to be pretty yeah and have a product like if you want to be a fucking spokeswoman then go out and do that shit but you have to do something to get it the inbox messages that you're getting from these random ass people is not like going to get you anywhere you need to go out and get something and that's my message to all the instagram influencers like you're not influencing shit you need to like find something for yourself legit like yeah and like and i and i'm just gonna touch on this like so i'm not ragging on like the people that actually have a legit business behind their instagram and they use instagram to promote it because yeah that would be really busy because yeah you're constantly getting dms people are asking you about your products and stuff like that Mm -hmm. um but i mean like i'm i maybe i could be ignorant to like how many people are gonna ask you where you got that bathing suit from but i mean yeah but then too sometimes like i wonder if that's like a game and that's a listen, game like so many people ask me about this like it's like how like how as, is that so many you don't have that many followers really as someone who used to play that game if one person would ask me a question i would be like so many people are asking me about this no one person asked <laughs> me okay motherfuckers yeah. I, and and so maybe that's why i see through a lot of this bullshit is because I know the game. I was taught the game and I played the game and now I don't play that fucking game anymore. I am, I'm about being real, making real connections. And that's another thing that I want to talk about that we both want to talk about. Are you out there to support other women? Are you? Are you actually out there to support other women? Or are you pretending to so that more people like you and then in fact you're going to be a not supportive person that's Mm -hmm. what i want to know and And, or like how you this is another one that gets me is like okay you want all these people to support you you want all these people to interact with you you want all the comments and but you don't but you don't comment you don't um engage engage with the people Mm -hmm. the other people's unless they're in your friend group Mm -hmm. and so like oftentimes if i if i feel like I'm like showing a lot of love and support to someone and then I feel like I'm not getting that back. I'll just mute them for a while and be like, listen, is this a one sided game? Like, I'm not playing this game anymore with you. Like, I genuinely liked you and I can see that you're not reciprocating that. And you know what? Fuck you then. You know what I mean? And and it and it does. It hurts people's feelings. Like, I'm not going to lie and be like, uh, it's whatever. But like, it's fucked up when people act like they want community and act like they want connection 
and then when in fact they're really only seeking connection from like or certain... the only time that they will connect with you is behind closed doors yeah like in in private where nobody can see like oh i'll talk to you if nobody can see we're talking like or i will inbox you instead of commenting on something yeah 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 so yeah <sighs> yeah it's just I don't know. I just feel like people are taking social media way too far nowadays. And like, mm-hmm. and I think it's so toxic and it's so toxic, you know, to, and that's another thing too, I guess like with, I have a problem with people on social media is like people bandwagon so fast mm-hmm. on there mm-hmm. and then they change their mind. And then because they change their mind, then they're going to post a bunch of memes that it's okay to evolve. It's okay to change. It's okay to learn and change your mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is okay to do that. But like what you don't understand hmm. that your audience might literally take everything you say to frickin heart, Mm -hmm. you know, and then you spew out all this misinformation and then you come back. Oh, just kidding. I screwed up. That's not actually Mm -hmm. how it went or that's not what I feel about it anymore. And it's just like, well, then unless you have come up with a solid feeling or Mm -hmm. a solid, what what am I trying to say? Like Like a solid, um like unless you've researched and like really delved into a belief why post it and yeah. that goes for like last year when all the girls a bunch of girls and lloyd were like black square and then a bunch of those same girls were like well i deleted my black square because and it's like bitch why'd you post the black square if you don't fucking feel that you know what i mean if you're so quick to delete it because one person said shit it obviously didn't really resonate with you with your morality like yeah. why the fuck did you feel that you needed to like you you it's so obvious that you only posted that black square because of what people and, because and of what people would, social media yeah. mainstream media Perception. told you to yeah exactly that's the same thing with the every child matters bullshit like oh if i don't do this i might look like i don't care and it's like well you don't care do you like <sighs> it's and bullshit. if you're yeah and if you're worried that people are gonna think like you're obviously doing it for the wrong reasons then you're not mm-hmm. doing it from a pure reason like i don't post a lot of shit um yeah, you someone, never might, post and someone might come up to me and it's like oh, well and like did you ask me what i've been doing do you ask me who i but again though like uh, i don't know like i'm really trying to live my life and like i try not to be racist and i try and treat everybody equal so why am i going to cram it down everybody's throats you know yeah yeah exactly like and I always want to, like, when there's, like, like, before, like, when, before Black Lives Matter really started, I was like, you know what, if y'all are feeling like you're being discriminated against, yeah, I'm with you. Like, I posted not a black square, but I, but there was, like, a, (laughs) it was, like, sex workers aren't going to post their, uh, aren't going to promo their shit for a whole day, uh, because Black Lives Matter. And so I didn't post for a whole day. Um, and I just posted my thing and I was like, yeah, okay. If you want, you guys think that we should be quiet, I'll be quiet for a day. That's totally fair. Like I thought about it. I read a bunch of posts about it and I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And that's what I did. And then all these, like, then you just see all these other people just bandwagoning it and then deleting it and then explaining it and then posting it again. And then it's like, man, what did you really feel inside? Like, you know, like, I don't know. Like, I try to be sensitive to everyone, but at a certain point, you got to be like, hey. <laughs> and why is, your, why is your, yeah, mind so easily swayed? Exactly. You know, and if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Exactly. You're super easy to, like, yeah. Don't be easy to manipulate because, and like, what do you. And that's why I feel like, that's why like, I really struggle with influencers too, just because like, that's just it. Like, why are you influencing other people? Why aren't people thinking for themselves anymore? Yeah, if you don't even have a solid, like, like feeling in you what the fuck are you influencing like if you don't even know who you really are how can you influence anyone confidently and then people don't take the time to research and learn things on their own anymore because they're exactly. like this person posts this and i'm gonna hold this this yeah. is you know this must be true of that person because i love this person this person's mm-hmm. my idol we shouldn't idolize people no. so much worship no man worship no mm-hmm, man absolutely honey. like mm-hmm. I, and and since last year like i used to be very easily like swayed by things um but like i if i read something that i find very controversial i'll seek out more i'll seek out the other side and i'll seek out like as much as i can 
and then I'll come to a conclusion in my own heart. Um, whereas most people read one post and then go, this is what I believe now. And then five minutes later, they read a different post and go, I don't believe that anymore. And they don't dig deep to yeah. the root of anything anymore. You need to just like be solid in your convictions or don't have them at all. Like, yeah. Yeah. No fucking post about them. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, quit we... treating Instagram like a job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you think Instagram is a get job, a job, get a real job. Get a real job. And there are jobs in. And then talk. To it's us. it's called social media marketing, and there's a demand for it. So go out and get get your get get your job. <laughs> oh damn. Oh yeah. I love it. We're lean. <laughs>